Last year, my kids got loads of presents for Christmas, and the first thing they wanted was something to play on. Well, this year, I'm going to be prepared to make this. I'm going to use the SOLIDWORKS 2018 tab and slot functionality to make my design quick and simple, and make it possible to take it apart, fold it flat, and put it away when the kids are finished. In the design process, first I had to think about what playscape we're going to use. In the end, it came down to the fact that I like castles and they like princesses. Then I had to sketch out some ideas. I would really like to make number three, but I think if the kids are going to play with it before New Year, I better make number one. As I'll be making this on Christmas Day, and I want to put it away flat, my material of choice will be cardboard. There's always loads of this hanging around after present opening. When using cardboard, the SOLIDWORKS sheet metal tools are ideal, and the tab and slot functionality is part of the sheet metal tools. So let's get into SOLIDWORKS. Once the basic tower shape is modelled, it is time to use the new feature, Tab and Slot. We'll be using this a lot, so pay attention. Adding tabs and slots is really easy. First, we click the edge of the part that will have tabs added to it. Then we select the outer face for the end of the slot cuts. We can now specify whether the tabs start at the outside edges of the tab face or not, how many tabs we will use and their length, as well as the tab height. In my model, I'm going to use three tabs and I want them to be offset from the edges. Having made our tower hold its shape, we need to add the top and fix it on. If I use tab and slot again, I can do all edges for each tab body in one command by using the new group button. And if I make my tab stick a long way through, I get my castellation automatically. I can also automatically radius or chamfer my tabs for a better aesthetic and simpler construction. When I print out my templates, I want them to fit on a single sheet of A4, so I need to check the sizes of the flat patterns. I could do this with Evaluate, but by using a sensor, if, or rather when, I need to make changes, SOLIDWORKS will pop up a warning if I exceed my required sizes. My first attempt fits onto a page, so let's make the first prototype. It looks amazing, if I do say so myself, but there may be a small problem. It's a little small! So, back to SOLIDWORKS. A quick resize is possible, as the model was set up using a global toy size variable, which all the major dimensions were linked to. Ah, but now my sensor is telling me I no longer fit onto a sheet of A4. A bit of redesign is needed, and then we're good to go again. I'm going to take this opportunity to remove the curves as well, as I'm rubbish at cutting them. Now to export to DXF and create the PDFs, for me to print and for you lot to download. Have fun being Christmas heroes and feel free to send us shots of your creations.